how does the green card process work for individuals with exceptional ability, EB2? The green card process for individuals with exceptional ability, EB2, is a multi-step process that involves several requirements and steps. Here is a general overview of the process. Determine eligibility. To qualify for an EB-2 visa, you must demonstrate exceptional ability in the sciences, arts, or business. This typically requires having a degree of expertise significantly above that normally encountered in the field. Labor certification. Before applying for the EB-2 visa, your employer must obtain a labor certification from the U. Department of Labor, DOL. This involves proving that there are no qualified you. Workers available for the position you will be filling. Petition. Once the labor certification is approved, your employer must file Form I-140, Immigrant Petition for Alien Worker, with you. Citizenship and Immigration Services, USCIS. This petition serves as evidence of your exceptional ability and confirms that you meet the requirements for the EB-2 category. Priority date. After the I-140 is approved, you will receive a priority date, which is the date your petition was filed with USCIS. This date is important for tracking your place in line for visa availability. Visa availability. The availability of EB-2 visas depends on your country of birth and the overall demand for visas. Each month, the Department of State publishes a visa bulletin that shows the current priority dates for each visa category. You can check the visa bulletin to determine when your priority date becomes current. Adjustment of status or consular processing. If you are already in the United States, you can apply for adjustment of status by filing Form I-485. This allows you to become a lawful permanent resident, green card holder, without leaving the U. If you are outside the U, you will need to go through consular processing at a U. Embassy or consulate to obtain your immigrant visa. Interview and medical examination. As part of the process, you will be required to attend an interview with USCIS. Additionally, you will need to undergo a medical examination to ensure you meet the health requirements for immigration. Conditional or unconditional green card. If your application is approved, you will receive a green card. In some cases, the green card may be conditional, requiring you to file a petition to remove the conditions within a specific time frame. It is important to note that this is a general overview, and the specific requirements and processes may vary based on individual circumstances. It is recommended to consult with an immigration attorney or qualified professional for personalized guidance and to ensure accurate information based on your unique situation. Thanks for watching, please like and share this video. Also hit the subscribe button, ring the notification bell, and let's embark on a journey of knowledge together.